All right, welcome back. This is Lation from Lation Scripts, and we're going over a completely brand new uh, script here, The Shops Creator. Uh, real quick, right off the top, got to cover some things. This is a beta. Um, it doesn't have everything that we plan to have in this script, um, which is, well, basically one major thing. The player-owned shops feature is not available in this beta. We are putting this out early at, an, at extremely reduced pricing to get some people on board to help us test this script um, and just refine it and dial it in. It's 100% complete otherwise, and I'm going to show you that right now. Um, so let's just get right into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is a nice basic 24-7 uh, that we whipped up. And here it is. You got your uh, search bar, obviously. You search for something. You got your categories and you can add and remove items from your cart nice and easy update the quantities scrolling or just typing it in easy to remove and select your payment method so this is a real basic shop with nothing special going on um, so this is just your standard standard little thing I'm just gonna buy all that why not and so we're gonna move on to a more uh, specialized shop like the police armory um, let me update my job oh and I got caps all right so here's a more specialized shop you'll see some different things here <clears throat> and right off the bat you'll see these restricted options these require a certain grade of the police job so you can customize items obviously by grade, job and grade, and license requirements. You see it requires a weapons license. Um, you got your ammo, weapons, tools, what have you. Um, and another thing, it's cash and bank. But if I update my job to let's say a higher rank, I can use the LSPD account as a payment option. So that's cool. And obviously these new or these previously restricted restricted options are now available to me so that's a um, look at something a little more advanced and we'll go ahead and have a quick look at the shops creator admin menu so you got obviously the two stores we saw 10 locations seven items quick little overview and we'll go through the settings real quick um, so our first tab is obviously just basic information Second, we got our shop locations. You can add, edit, delete, um, and you can assign locations either by just a, an interaction zone, a pad, or a model. Obviously, you can select the model and scenarios for that location, and each can be different, or you can remove them or add one. The next tab is the inventory tab, your shop's inventory. This is where you can customize the items available. You can drag and drop to change the order of items to, so you can have it laid out the way you'd like. Um, you can edit the items information, obviously, price, category, image, stock options, license, job restrictions, metadata. I'm just going to go through all this stuff really quick. I uh, don't want to make this video too long or delete the item of course uh, you can also select multiple items select all and then you got bulk actions available so you can assign a category stock limit license requirements or pricing to all the items at once so that's that uh, you got the finance tab where you can change your payment methods you can add even uh, society account payment options or even a custom payment option so you can select uh, an and a society, the grade required to use it, display label, icon, and there's a revenue sharing option. So every purchase in this shop, we can give a cut to EMS at 10%, and let's say we like bus drivers more, and we're going to give them 45%, and then we're not a big fan of the hot dog guys, but we'll give them 1%. So you got all that. You got the access tab, where obviously you can require a job, like in the police armory, you got to be police to open the shop and of course you can set the minimum uh, grade requirement and obviously do multiple jobs uh, you got your operating hours that's simple you got your settings map blip you got randomized pricing options so every time the service starts you can adjust the pricing plus or minus whatever percent and our little example here will show you the different percentages 
as you change it. And you got your item categories, food, drinks, medical. You can edit the icon, icon color, and you can change the order of your categories. And last but not least, you got a little transactions tab. This will show you all the transactions that have happened in that shop. Obviously, you can search a transaction for, let's say, a customer relation. Let's see all what he bought. Um, you can search for, like, uh, revenue sharing to see what cuts went to different society accounts. Uh, you can search by item, how many orders have sold to who and when. And you got your fort filtering, of course. You can filter by expenses only, income, all, and then a date range naturally. Oops. So that's that. Um, obviously, the police armories are very obviously all the same, but is required to have police and. In our item data, you'll see different options. You got the weapon license requirement, the LSPD officer grade requirement, so on and so forth. So that is a quick and fast overview. Um, we're gonna go and create a shop now, just so I can show you how quick and easy that all happens. So let's go make a liquor store. So uh, same menu, obviously, shop admin. And we're just going to create a shop this time. Liquor stores our ID. The names, obviously, the same thing. Get drunk fast. Our location is going to be nice and easy. Get our current cords. We'll use the standard pad here and have them smoking. That's the locations. And now, the one thing I haven't showed you is our item importing. You can do one item at a time, obviously, or you can use the bulk import, which is nice and easy. So we got wine, we'll get whiskey, we'll get vodka and beer. Try to cover the four bases. You can set a default price for all these before you import them or a category if we had some categories set up. But we're just going to keep this short and sweet. Put the beer first, wine last, and then of course you can edit the pricing and all that. But I'm not going to do all that. We can add our payment methods, we can add revenue sharing, access, settings, we'll turn on a blip. We'll do some randomized pricing there, sure, why not. And so that'll give us a basic shop to get started with. So if I restart now, we got our guy here, and we got our shop with the beer first, wine last. And we got no categories or nothing, it's just real simple. But let me show you what some stock limitations would look like it's nice and subtle so we limited the beer to nine in stock at every server start once that nine in stock is gone let me show you you can no longer obviously buy that item so that's cool and to add more of these liquor stores, I'll show you how to do that real quick, just through the locations tab. It's real easy. So let's go to another liquor store. And we'll go back into our shop admin, liquor store, locations, add, boom. Nice and easy. All right. Quick little restart, and there he is. And we got our shop, and obviously our beer was out of stock because all these shops is one shop, you know. But now we got multiple locations, nice and easy. And we do see our randomized pricing in effect there. So that's the shop script. Uh, <clears throat> in a ver I tried to speed run this thing a little bit. Didn't want to make this too long. Um, again, I just need to stress, this is a beta. We are selling this script at an extremely reduced price of, I believe, 50 to 60% off what the normal release pricing will be. So, um, of course, everything's pretty much subject to change, but we really want to get this out and get it tested with you guys um, and really refine it and dial it in with how and what you guys need. And we just want to make sure we're starting at a great foundation and then we're going to slap the player own shops right on top 
according to how you guys tell us. So with the with this purchase, obviously you're buying it as an early supporter. You're getting it a lot cheaper than it otherwise would have been, and you're going to get a special role in our Discord that gives you access to a private beta testing channel where we can talk all things Shops Creator and what you want to see, how you want to see it, what we need to add, and how we need to add it. So if you want to help build this script out with us, we're going to make it the best one possible. Go ahead, get it while it's dirt cheap, and if you're willing to um, help us out, that's even better. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the beta testing channel.